everybody. My name is Shawnee Brady and I'm a librarian at the Crystal Lake Public Library and I have a story time for you today about uh oh it's about monsters. <laughs> oh oh but oh don't be scared though because they're the nice kind right? They're the silly kind. Oh I like them. I like still silly stories so it, it won't be scary I promise because I don't like scary stuff. Nope. Nope, we don't. <laughs> so I have two stories for you today. And one is called The Baby That Roared. Oh my, that doesn't look like a baby, but hmm. This is by Simon Puddock, illustrated by Nadia Shireen. And then I have another story for you. It is called I Want to Be in a Scary Story by Sean Taylor, illustrated by Jean Julian. So maybe we'll learn, learn a little bit more about monsters. Maybe they won't seem so scary, cause you know, we don't want to be scared. I don't want to be scared. So here we go. The Baby That Roared by Simon Puddock, illustrated by Nadia Shireen. Let's see what happens. You know, have a look here. <laughs> what does that remind you of? Hmm, I think it might be somebody's fur. Mr. and Mrs. Deer had no baby of their own, own to love and cuddle and read stories to, but oh, how they wished they did. Now, I just want to point out to you, look over in this little area here. What do you see? Hmm. Then one day, they found a bundle on their doorstep. The bundle had a note attached which said, I am a dear little baby. Please love me and cuddle me and read me lots and lots of stories. But he actually says, Roar! <laughs> He's kind of cute, isn't he? <laughs> that baby looks peculiar to me. All babies are beautiful. Mrs. Deer picked it up and cuddled it at once. Then she popped it into the laundry basket, which was just the right size for a bed. But no sooner had she put the baby down than it let out a great big Roar! Oh my. I think it's hungry, said Mr. Deer. Babies usually are. But the baby didn't want cheese, and the baby didn't want toast, and the baby didn't want cabbage, or cucumbers, or cauliflower. Hmm, what do you think the baby wants? What did the baby want to eat? We must get Uncle Duncan, said Mrs. Deer. He's bound to know. Hmm, what would you feed the baby? A baby, a dear little baby, I shall come at once. Babies need milk, said Uncle Duncan. You must warm some immediately. But, hmm. When Mr. and Mrs. Deer came back, how very peculiar. Uncle Duncan had disappeared and the baby was still roaring. Ugh, what's that smell? Ew, said Mr. Deer. I think the baby needs a changing. <gasps> we must ask Auntie Agnes. She generally knows what's what. Hmm. A baby, a dear little baby. I shall come at once. Diapers said Auntie Agnes, and clean towels and special ointment too. Now run along and fetch them quick as you can. But, hmm. When Mr. and Mrs. Deer came back, how very peculiar. Oh, that means how very strange. Auntie Agnes had disappeared and the baby was still roaring. Oh, poor little baby, said Mr. Deer. Whatever shall we do? Perhaps, said Mrs. Deer, it isn't feeling very well. 
we must call Dr. Fox to come and take a look. Roar! Hmm. A baby, a dear little baby, I shall come at once. I shall need peace and quiet to examine that the baby, said Dr. Fox. Now run along, you two, and leave everything to me. Mr. and Mrs. Deer ran along and waited and waited and waited. Roar, roar, roar! But the baby went on roaring. They had to know what was happening. So they tiptoed in and... How very peculiar. Dr. Fox had disappeared and the baby was still roaring. Oh no, said Mrs. Deer. What shall we do now? Granny Bear, said Mr. Deer, will know exactly what to do. Mm. What do you think they should do? Granny Bear came at once. She took one look at the poor little dear, little roaring, roaring baby and said, I know exactly what to do. This baby needs burping. And she picked up the baby and patted it and patted it and patted it until, oh, doesn't look so good there. Oh, until what? Burp! Oh my. Ew. It was really very peculiar. Out came Uncle Duncan, and out came Auntie Agnes, and out came Dr. Fox, too. And none of them looked at the least bit pleased. I don't think I would be that pleased either. That's not a dear little baby, cried Granny Bear. That is a little monster. Uh-oh. And he doesn't look so little anymore. And it was, too. Then it took to its heels and away it ran. And they never, ever, ever saw it again. As for Mr. and Mrs. Deer, well, they found themselves a sweet little kitten to love instead. Oh, no. <laughs> and that is the end. Oh, wow. That baby. He ate all those little animals. Oh, my gosh. What a troublesome monster. Do you think he's going to eat some more while pretending to be the cat? I don't know. Do you think so? Oh, well, I do have another monster story for you. And this is called... I want to be in a scary story. Oh, I don't really like scary stories. This is by Sean Taylor, illustrated by Jean Julian. Let's see what it's all about. Here we go. I want to be in a scary story by Sean Taylor, illustrated by Jean Julian. Hmm. Do you want to be in a scary story? I don't. Hello, little monster. What do you want to do today? Can I be in a story? Oh, wow. All right, what sort of story? I want to be in a scary story. A funny story might be more fun. Not for me, it won't be. Okay, we could start the story in a dark and scary forest. That's a good idea. You ready then, little monster? You bet I am. <gasps> oh my golly gosh. Ooh, that looks really scary. I should turn the page. Oh, is that too scary? It might be. Would you rather it was just a spooky house? That sounds better. Oh my goodness me. Ooh, ooh, that looks kind of scary too. Oh, oh, I don't know. Okay, let's turn the page. Is that too spooky? A little, but never mind. Well, now something scary is going to happen. What? 
you go inside and a creepy witch will jump out. Okay. Ooh, do you think this is a good idea? Oh, I'm not sure. <gasps> ah! Oh, yikes and creaks! Oh, ah! Oh, no. Oh, I gotta turn the page. Ah! <gasps> Would you rather something else jump out instead of the witch? Maybe. How about a ghost? Okay, a ghost. Do you want to see a ghost? Ah! Oh, jeepers creepers. Oh, no. Oh, I have to turn the page. Oh, my. Hold on. This is too scary. Well, you did say you wanted to be in a scary story. I know, but I want to be in a scary story where I do the scaring. Oh, you want to be the scary one? Yeah. Oh, do you want to be the scary one? Okay, then. You can creep up the stairs, sneak over to the door, and then scare the person inside. All right! <gasps> this is more fun now! Oh, do you think so, too? Do you like scaring people? I found the door! Ooh, what's going to be in there? Now I'm going to be scary. Wait a minute. Hmm. Who is going to be in there? The witch. What? Look, can we maybe just change this book so it's a funny story? All right, little monster. There could be just a teeny weeny monkey and his friend in there. Good. That's going to be much funnier. Oh, yeah. I can easily scare him. Oh, yeah. Oh, are you ready? Do you want to scare him too? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh-oh. He's a little bit scary. It's not fair. His friend's ginormous like that. But you said you want this to be a funny story now, didn't you? Yes. Well, it's going to be funny if a ginormous monkey and a teeny weeny monkey start chasing a monster, isn't it? Not for me, it won't be. Unless, oh, unless what? Hey, little monster, are you okay? Where is he? Do you see him? Little monster, are you out there? Where is he? I don't see him. The forest is dark and scary. Little monster, this isn't funny. Boo! Oh! Oh my! Now that was scary, little monster. And that was funny too. So can I be in a story again tomorrow? What do you think? Should he be in another story? <laughs> And that is the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed our stories today. Were they too scary for you? Not for me. Okay, good. Oh, no, <laughs> not for our monster. And they weren't too scary for me either. I liked them. Oh, but it got a little scary at the end, didn't it? Did they scare you with their booze? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed being a little bit scared. Mm, probably not, but maybe you laughed a little. So. Have a great day. Come visit us at the library soon. Bye-bye.